Undiplomatic, How My Attitude Created the Best Kind of Trouble, is an autobiographical account by Disha Dyer, who tells the story of her unconventional path to becoming the White House Social Secretary during the Obama administration. It is a tale that explores the intersection of personal growth, professional development, and social justice, providing a behind-the-scenes look at one of the most prestigious jobs in the U.S. Government, while delving into Dyer's life story and the attitudes that shaped her journey. Disha Dyer's story sets off in Philadelphia, where she grew up in a working-class neighborhood, grappling with the challenges that many inner-city youths face. Overcoming an environment often fraught with hardships, Dyer highlights the influence of her community and family, which played a pivotal role in her resilience and ambition. Dyer's early life was filled with trials and failures, including dealing with the consequences of dropping out of college and becoming a teenage mother. However, despite these setbacks, she maintained a strong spirit and determination to succeed. Dyer's narrative moves on as she returns to community college at the age of 29 after having various jobs, including freelance writing for hip-hop publications. It is during this academic pursuit that Dyer secures an internship at the White House at the age of 31. Her story at this point emphasizes that it's never too late to change your life's trajectory. The memoir details her experiences as an intern, wherein she demonstrated exceptional initiative and commitment leading to her rising through the ranks over the years. The memoir details Dyer's transition from an intern in the Office of Scheduling and Advance to being a full-time staffer, and eventually to her appointment as the White House Social Secretary in 2015. As one of the youngest people and only the second African-American woman to hold the position, her ascension is marked by remarkable achievements and significant challenges. The role of social secretary is traditionally seen as one rooted in protocol and etiquette, but Dyer approaches the job with a less conventional perspective, resonating with the Obama administration's values of inclusiveness and change. Her work involves planning and executing a wide array of events, including state dinners, performances, and cultural celebrations. Dyer offers an inside perspective on what it takes to organize events at the White House showcasing the intricate planning and attention to detail required to host domestic and international dignitaries, celebrities, and the general public. Throughout the memoir, Dyer emphasizes the importance of remaining true to oneself in the face of rigid structures and expectations. She shares anecdotes about instances where her attitude, which encompasses her authenticity, candor, and willingness to challenge the status quo, plays a crucial role in fostering a more inclusive and progressive atmosphere at the White House. By integrating modern elements and adopting a more open approach, Dyer succeeds in making the White House more accessible to ordinary Americans and those often marginalized in society. One of Dyer's significant contributions highlighted in the memoir is her effort to bridge the gap between the administration and underrepresented communities. She takes pride in organizing events that honor a diverse array of American culture and achievements, such as celebrations for Black History Month, LGBTQ pride, and events promoting women's rights. Dyer dedicates significant portions of the book to describe her advocacy for these causes and how she used her role to elevate voices that had historically been sidelined. The book also addresses the nuances of navigating a high-profile, high-pressure job as a woman of color. Dyer candidly speaks about the systemic barriers she faces and the microaggressions encountered in elite political spaces. By sharing her experiences, she seeks to inspire others who face similar obstacles and to underscore the potential for change from within influential institutions. Dyer's narrative highlights the human side of the White House, providing a look at her interactions with President Obama and First Lady Michelle Obama, whom she regards with profound respect and admiration. Her story underscores the Obamas' impact on her life, noting their grace and humanity, and how their leadership style encouraged her to bring her full self to her work. Throughout the book, Dyer gives advice on professional growth and personal development, drawing from her own experiences. Her words are meant to empower readers, especially young women and people of color, to pursue their ambitions, even when the odds seem stacked against them. She emphasizes the power of mentorship, 
network building, and seizing opportunities as key to her success. As Dyer's tenure in the White House concludes with the end of the Obama presidency, the memoir reflects on the legacy of those years and the enduring impact they have on her life. The book closes with Dyer contemplating her post-White House career, determined to continue her commitment to public service, social justice, and inspiring change. Dyer's story is not only an account of her professional achievements, but also a call to action for readers to recognize the potential within themselves to defy the expectations and create meaningful change, even in the most traditional and high-stakes environments. Her memoir, Undiplomatic, How My Attitude Created the Best Kind of Trouble, is a testament to the idea that authenticity and tenacity can indeed lead to success and make a positive difference in the world. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.